for the gift of God is everlasting life. God only gives one life. When you believe on him, it's everlasting life. I mean, there's no other life God gives. When you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, what he did for you at the cross, he died for your sins, was buried, and rose again. There's other, no other life God gives but eternal life. All of sin comes short of glory of God, but the gift of God is everlasting life to those that believe. There's no, uh, James, I, I understand where people have an argument to James um, saying that, you know, I'll show you my works, show you that I have real faith. And then James turns around before that and says that we're, I mean, can that faith save them? Can that faith save them? And he said, I'll show you my works by my faith. You got to look, read it in context. What he's talked to is believers. He is talking to believers because they weren't doing nothing with the faith they have. Can that faith save them? Yeah, if you're talking about eternal uh, punishment or, or, or going to hell or, or, or escape from the, uh, the, the penalty of sin, sure. But he wasn't talking about that. He's talking about your faith is just null and void because you do not uh, exercise your faith. And being uh, kind to others, you don't, you know, it's an elitist thing almost. You know, you look at it and it's like, would the, their faith save them? I don't know. I don't know. So you can't tell if a person has faith if, unless they have works, right? Unless you have works, you can't tell a person has faith. I'll show you my faith by my works, is what James said. It ain't talking about eternal punishment. It's talking about people just not being sensitive, sensitive enough to the Holy Spirit and being uh, willing to obey what God asks that we basically do, just care for our fellow man, love each other as I've loved you. I think that's the point. I, that's all I'm saying. I know I got tripped up my words. It's been a tough day, but I'm, I'm thankful to the Lord for eternal life that I have. I possess it right now. I ain't going to have ter eternal life. I got it right now. I know I got it. So it's by believing what the Lord Jesus Christ declared. And he wants you to know that you have eternal life. Okay? He wants you to know that. Anyway, I ain't going to keep this long because this thing is going to turn off. But I appreciate you guys. He wants you to know he have, you have everlasting life. If you believe it on me, the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, of what he did at the cross, death, burial, and resurrection, that you may know that you have eternal life. Not going to have, but have it right now. Amen? Amen. All right, guys. God bless you. Amen.